It's happened to me and no doubt it's happened to a few of you as well. The dreaded flat tire and there's never a convenient time for it. You could ring roadside assist, you could call the RACQ, a friend, or you could change the tire yourself. Come on, I'll show you how. First of all, make sure you're in a safe spot with no traffic whizzing past, not on a dangerous bend or a steep hill. If you're not in a safe spot, then definitely call in the experts. And no, you can't continue to drive on a flat tire or you could do some serious damage to your car. So if you're in a safe spot like this, here's what you should do. It's always a good idea to have a towel in the back of your car and a set of gloves. So make sure your hazard lights are turned on. Make sure the car engine is switched off your handbrake is engaged. If you're driving an automatic, make sure the car is in park. If it's a manual, put the car into reverse and make sure you're on a nice solid flat road so the jack won't slip. Now grab your owner's manual out of the glove box. It will show you where your car's jack is kept and how to release the spare wheel. So grab the jack and tool so you can lift one side of the car up a little and change the tire. Kneel on your towel and place the jack underneath the jacking point of the car. The jacking point is actually shown on the jack itself and on your Suzuki, there'll be four, one for each tire. Always use the jacking point next to the wheel you're changing. So once the jack's in the correct position, we'll leave it there for a while. We won't wind it up just yet because we've got to grab the spare tire and release the nuts. So this is a space saver tyre. Make sure your tyre is inflated correctly. We'll show you how to check the tyre pressure in another one of these videos. So your next step is to loosen the wheel nuts. If there's a wheel trim fitted, you'll have to remove it. There isn't on this car. When you start to loosen these wheel nuts, if they're too tough or it's just too much effort for you, you're going to have to call an expert. But today, I'm going to give it a go myself. <coughs> Anti-clockwise, of course. So we're now going to raise the side of the car with the jack. Remember your inflated tyre is going to be a lot higher than your punctured tyre. Take off the final wheel nuts. And then you can take the wheel off. That part is surprisingly easy. We roll our new wheel over and we line her up. Now put all the nuts back in, finger tight. So now give them a touch more of a tighten clockwise with the wrench and do them on opposite sides so the tire goes on square. We don't want to tighten them up completely until the tire is back on the ground. So now we're going to lower the jack by turning anti-clockwise. Now the car's back on the ground, you can do the final tighten of all the wheel nuts making sure that they're on nice and tight clockwise, going from opposite side to opposite side so the wheel's on square. And then it's time to put all this gear away. Remember, if you're using a space saver tyre, it's a maximum speed of 80. Once the tools are away, you've earned yourself a cold drink. You're probably gonna be running a little late, but not as late as if you had to wait for someone else to come and change the tyre. And don't forget to get that flat tyre fixed.